I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. It's no secret that I'm a fan of tank automation. I mean, duh, I'm making a video series on tank automation. What do you expect, Mark? Now, tank automation makes my life easier as a reefer. Processes that would otherwise have to be done manually are all done automatically. Turning on and off the lights on my tank, topping off my tank, water changes, controlling my calcium reactor, dosing calc, all that happens automatically in the background and I don't have to do anything for it. Now with all this tank automation, there's a decision to be made. Do you want a centralized approach or do you want more of a standalone approach? A centralized approach relies on few or even one central part that interacts with all the other parts of the system. The centralized brain is king and the other parts answer to it and likely need the brain to function. In a standalone system, most if not all parts function independently. There likely isn't even a centralized brain on a system designed around standalone parts. Both of these systems have pros and cons. In a centralized approach, one or two apps will be all that you need to access the information on your tank. That means less clutter on your phone and less switching between apps. When you don't have to switch between apps, you don't have to learn all the different app interfaces and all the different app workflows. Also in a centralized approach, the pieces of tank automation are likely going to talk to one another. It's likely made to fit in one ecosystem, and when it's made to fit in one ecosystem, then the pieces will let each other know when something's wrong. A centralized approach can mean easier to set up equipment as the gear is designed to play nice in that ecosystem. Hardware and software development is done concurrently, so when a new piece of hardware comes out, there's no waiting for other companies to catch up. On the flip side, if the central brain goes down, it's likely that the rest of the system will go down with it. Sometimes pieces of gear are designed to run with or without a central brain, which is a nice redundancy feature. Most of the time, that's not the case. You can always do certain processes manually, like topping off your tank, or do a manual water change. It's not convenient, but it's still possible. In a centralized approach, you're also at the mercy of the company making that centralized system. If you want a piece of tank automation on your tank, you have to wait until that company makes it, or until another company makes it, and it plays nicely with that centralized approach. All right. Let's look at the standalone approach where each part functions independently. On the pro side of the standalone approach, if one piece of tank automation goes down, it's likely not going to affect the other pieces on your system. You're also not tied to one ecosystem as you've got standalone parts. There's a trade-off there though, as if you have separate parts made by different companies, they likely won't talk to one another. Also, each piece of gear will have to have its own remote access and control if you want to see what's going on when you're not around your tank. You also need to learn to navigate separate workflows and learn how each piece functions. Since each piece is independent, it's likely made by different companies, and there's likely not much commonality between the pieces. Finally, if you want support for each of these standalone pieces, you'll have to contact each company independently and deal with their support channel. Some companies communicate via phone, some via email, and some only on social media. Of course, that's assuming that the companies even have a support channel. With any decision, there's pros and there's cons. What works for me may not work for you. And what works for me is a centralized approach. It gives me the most visibility, remote access, and features for what I'm looking for. And this fact is especially true considering that all my client tanks but one are remote tanks. I've got one client tank here in Franklin, Tennessee, and the rest are hundreds of miles away. That means at any given moment, I need to be able to look at those tanks and see what's going on. I also need to be notified if something is wrong and I need to be able to reach out there and make changes to those tanks even though I'm nowhere close to those tanks. Now as of the making of this video, there's not enough pieces of standalone tank automation that give me that kind of remote visibility and control. Now that may change in the future as there are always new gear coming out in the saltwater tank market and I'm always keeping my eye on those new pieces of equipment. For now, the centralized approach is what works for me. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.